Day 83, salt with you. Hey everyone, I'm Mickey D and yesterday I spoke about fear and today I'll be talking about forgiveness and there's this great story, fantastic story. Oh, I almost forgot. I'll tell you where I am. I'm climbing the castle, just going down a short descent before the major ascent. And it's just after sunrise. And man, it is so cold. It's like one degree Celsius. I'm freezing. I've got the gloves on, got the beanie as you can see. Yeah, and um, so there's this great story, profound, poignant story very moving story in the Bible, in John chapter 8, where a woman caught in adultery is brought to Jesus. And, you know, you, you, it's pretty hard to catch someone doing that, you know, when you go from door to door, you knock on the door, excuse me, is anyone there committing adultery? So th that obviously wouldn't have happened. They would have set this woman up, knowing that she could be tempted in that way. And so they committed a great sin themselves in doing that. And... Um, they bring him before Jesus outside the temple in the courtyard and I expect they probably threw her at his feet demanding that she be stoned because she committed a great sin. Just checking we're on the right track here. It looks like I'm okay. And um, got Barbie behind me and a good friend of ours, Ruth, behind her. And so they, they're expecting that they're going to actually be able to trap Jesus with this clever, what they thought would be a, uh, an argument that he couldn't, he couldn't back out of. And he turns it on its head when he says, okay, well, if you haven't sinned, feel free, throw the first stone. <laughs> Man, fill your boots. And then he does something which is curiously astonishing, to be, to be honest. Yeah, it was incredible. He kneels down on his haunches and starts drawing on the ground with his index finger, I expect. And um, these teachers of the law, the Pharisees there, and the Sadducees there, overcome, I think, by their sin, because they, one by one they drop their, their stones. They don't know what to do. And I, I wonder if some of them got the picture there, this amazing picture of the great I Am. And Jesus calls himself the great I Am in John 8, 58, a little bit later on in this chapter. And... He's drawing on the stones, and guess what? The stones were big tablets, kind of like brick pavers. The same sort of stones that Jesus wrote the Ten Commandments on, on Mount Sinai with Moses, all those centuries ago. And I just got to turn this camera around so you can see this. I'm a little bit unsure of the track here. It's kind of, it's kind of hard to follow it after the bushfire. But um, I, think, I think I'm going to be okay. We're going to be okay. I'm leading this expedition and <laughs> hopefully it won't get us lost. <laughs> hey, I've got God on my side. We'll be found if we are. Don't worry about that. Um, and so it's, it's the creator of the universe, the master of all, of all that has ever lived, the true, the one true king who's drawing on this tablet. And so the, the Sadducees, the Pharisees all leave. Jesus stands up. No one's there to accuse the woman. So Jesus says to her, I don't accuse you either. Go and leave your life of sin. And here's the incredible thing. I know this just totally blows my mind. It doesn't matter what you do, what you say, what you think. Your sins can be forgiven if you go to God, to Jesus, with a true heart of repentance. It doesn't matter what you do, man. It doesn't seriously matter. Well, it does matter, of course, because some of the things we do can be quite horrible. But in terms of having our sins forgiven, they can be forgiven. And that totally blows my mind. And of course, it begs the question, well, what, what about people who've offended us? What should our attitude be? God's forgiven us. Do we need to forgive them? Of course we do. Is that easy? No. That's got to be some of the hardest stuff a human can ever do. Just got to turn around on the track and get a view of it coming down because it's, it's like a 10 hour walk and I'm not quite sure what it's going to be like in the dark coming back down so I've got to make sure I know which way I'm going because at times the track's not entirely clear. Yeah, so how do you forgive other people? 
Well, we need to use the example of Jesus. Of forgiveness is when this man, this king, this God, Jesus, who had never, ever sinned, never thought a wrong thought, never said a, a bad word, never did anything with his life, that sin. And he's hanging on the cross, the most brutally painful of all deaths, of all things to experience, a crucifixion. And he says, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And that is really quite profound for me. I know it's like, it's, it's kind of moves me to tears when I talk about that, you know, that God could forgive me. Because it's my sin that held him there. It's my sin. And it's your sin that held him there. And he forgives us of that. Oh man, what a God we have. Amen. Amen to that soul church. That's incredible. God bless you all.